Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seem Lunds, and today we talk about how I've been eating one meal a day for the last six years. Obviously, it's not been like 100% one meal a day all the time. I've had you know, days where I eat two meals, uh, but uh, yeah, really, I haven't eaten like three meals <laughs> for the last maybe uh, six years for sure. Uh, even longer than like for the last eight years, I haven't eaten three meals a day. So um, yeah, in this video, I'll do like an update because I've already made <laughs> like an anniversary video about my one meal a day journey when I did it for four years, five years, and now six years. So yeah, if you haven't checked those ones out you can check that one as well but uh, yeah it's gonna be very similar we'll just you know talk about how I do it and uh, yeah what's been my uh, progress make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance do it all right so let's start from the beginning that's what's my body composition been like this on the left is uh, me in the military when I was uh, 19 years old and uh, this is where I've been already been working out for maybe like maybe two or th two years, uh, three years, something like that. And uh, yeah, obviously the military is completely different from the gym <laughs> or the training you do is completely different from like regular gym and bodybuilding type of things. Uh, you do a lot of cardio, you don't really, you know, you do like, you know, if you're unfit, you're going to get fit. But if you're like a bodybuilder, you're not necessarily going to get more jacked or bigger. You may tend to shrink up a little bit because of doing a lot of cardio and not eating that much maybe. Uh, but yeah, like when I was in the military, this was my physique, uh, about 68 kilograms or something like that. And this was also like the end of the military. Uh, after that, this on the, on the right is um, my last year's progress pick uh, when I was 26 years old, when I've been doing one meal a day for five years, and I weighed about 84 kilograms at that time. On the left, this is where in the military, I wasn't doing like the... Uh, I wasn't doing one meal a day. In the military, obviously, you can do that. I was doing more like, yeah, two meals or three meals, something like that uh, between um, those uh, time frames. This was when I did switch to one meal a day. I was like 21 years old and um, I was in college at that time, a bit heavier than in the military, a bit, um, you know, I had gained a little bit of body weight. But at that point, I wasn't necessarily trying to build muscle either. I was, just, you know, I've been always interested in calisthenics and bodyweight exercises like muscle ups and those kind of things. So I didn't never really want to like build mass <laughs> in that sense. I never wanted to do that because it's obviously harder to train for muscle ups and those kind of things uh, if you're like super heavyweight. And I never really wanted to, yeah, like gain a lot of weight. Uh, maybe in, on the left pick, uh, um, uh, when I'm 21 years old, I was maybe like. Um, I don't know, maybe 71, 70, yeah, 71 kilograms, something like that. And um, on the right here is when I was uh, 27 years old. It was uh, autumn 27, so like a few months ago, maybe almost like six months ago, actually. Uh, but I was 27 years old uh, at that point. On the left, I had been already doing two meals a day. I was doing the 16 and 8 method. Uh, and then I switched over into more like a one meal a day type of scenario. In this point, I wasn't doing again like 100% one meal. Um, I did have like some bulletproof coffee or something like that. I did have calories during the daytime as my first quote unquote meal. Um, but then I had like the rest of the calories uh, at dinner uh, where I would consume mostly like yeah the other protein and other macronutrients. This is uh, like uh, throughout this period, what I've uh, gone through in terms of my progress on the left is where I was about maybe 22, 23 years old. On the right, 24, 25 years old or uh, something like that. And this was also when I was doing calisthenics. Um, most, uh, Yeah, like 100% calisthenics. Throughout my time, since the military actually, since this, I was doing all, only calisthenics. Calisthenics on the left, calisthenics only, calisthenics on the left. And um, then I started to implement more uh, resistance training and gym workouts with barbells, uh, the main compound lifts. And um, I think that that was a big change in terms of the uh, results I was getting because of, yeah, the progressive overload is completely different when you're doing weightlifting um, with uh, you know barbells and dumbbells and that, that kind of thing compared to progressive overload in calisthenics when you don't necessarily want to you know build muscle mass. Yeah, buddy. But what I did realize was that uh, building muscle with one meal a day is very difficult. Uh, it's very slow, you know, there's different, I'm not like super heavy, like, and I'm not like huge. <laughs> if you were to see me in person, yeah, you would see that I work out, that I'm, I'm fit. Um, and I'm, yeah, like much more muscular than the average person, but I'm not like, you know, a bodybuilder. You wouldn't like recognize me from the crowd that, okay, that guy lifts 
uh, with my shirt like clothes on like if i take my shirt off maybe then you would recognize but yeah like you know i'm not massive by any means i weigh only like yeah 83 kilograms right now or something like that and um yeah that's that's the reason for that is that you know the one meal day isn't suitable for muscle mass you're not gonna get super huge eating one meal a day um and that's why like you know for that obviously three meals a day and even six meals a day is obviously more superior although the research suggests that the natural athletes don't need to consume any more than four meals a day um you're not gonna see any additional benefits uh, after that but uh, regardless yeah more more meals than one is good for muscle hypertrophy uh, and that was a problem that i was also experiencing throughout my journey uh like there were periods where I ate strictly only one meal a day with no additional calories during daytime and that was yeah where I didn't see like any progress in terms of muscle hypertrophy and even strength was uh, like very slow to develop at that point and then I switched it up I developed my own protocol which I call a targeted intermittent fasting and um, it's a form of basically one meal a day where you have uh, you have basically this fast window you fast the majority of the day you still eat one meal a day with a majority of the calories there. I usually have like, you know, one big main course and some some other smaller meals in the next to that. Uh, but during daytime, I do have like a protein shake during the uh, fasted window, usually into workout uh, or immediately before the workout. And the main idea is that because you're, you know, fasted, you're not going to have like any like amino acids in your bloodstream that does make it harder to build muscle and imposes additional muscle catabolism on your system if you have the protein shake or some amino acids uh, in the facet window then that's just going to reduce the muscle catabolism and still enables you to like progress in muscle hypertrophy and give you those muscles like these amino acids to repair and adapt to the training that you're doing and this i think you know is the best way to do one meal a day if you, if you want to or it's the only way to do one meal a day if you want to build muscle like yeah just doing one meal a day without this thing I don't think that you're going to, at least like if you're advanced, maybe you're like a beginner or if you're overweight, you can still do it. But if you're advanced or even like intermediate, <laughs> even then you're not going to see any gains by eating just one meal a day. You need this additional surge of amino acids and protein shake, something like something analogous, even like a small meal, whatever it is to uh, facilitate the mu the muscle growth that you're trying to achieve. And yeah, what my schedule looks like is uh, sometimes I may have like amino acids as well in the morning, which uh, some people would argue that it breaks, breaks fast, but uh, there's actually uh, evidence to suggest that essential amino acids may actually induce autophagy. So um, yeah, I don't, there are zero calories. I don't think that they actually raise like insulin. They do maybe activate some muscle anabolism, uh, but in the absence of actual protein, the essential amino acids aren't going to turn on mTOR either. They're only going to suppress muscle catabolism and uh, prevent you from losing muscle mass, which is you know quite critical if you're only eating one meal a day. Uh, but then regardless, I'll still have like coffee that actually also stimulates autophagy. Then I have the protein shake during the uh, workout I'll wait a little bit as after the workout as well, and then I'll eat the rest of my calories. My daily calorie intake isn't that high. Uh, it's been relatively the same throughout this entire six year period. Uh, maybe like a few years ago, I did eat a little bit less calories. Now I do eat more calories and that also like helps with muscle growth and um, recovery because I'm like, I think I'm just, you know, burning more calories by being in a gym and that does, you know, um, I think that it, uh, yeah, like makes you burn, burn more calories uh, compared to just doing calisthenics, uh, where the intensity is maybe a bit um, lighter. Uh, and my total calorie intake is around like at least 2,000 up until 2,500, some, something mixed between there. On the rest days, I may eat like 2,000 calories. And if I'm having a good, really good workout and I'm trying to build muscle mass or something, then I eat 2,500 calories. If I'm trying to cut down on body weight, I may on some days actually eat 1800 calories, but yeah, something uh, between that window is my calorie intake. And the foods I eat, I have many videos about that as well. I eat, you know, whole foods, uh, carbs, protein. Um, right now, I'm actually eating more carbs. Like my diet is significantly higher in carbs uh, than it is in fats. And uh, I'm not really eating any like added fats. The only fats I get are from whole foods. Um, mostly some protein sources that have fats on them uh, but yeah like higher carb intake that also helps with the gym workouts helps with actually I, I think that higher carb intake is better for muscle growth as well because of the glycogen resynthesis you hold more water in the muscles so you look bigger because you have more water in the muscles and the more glycogen there as well um, so yeah I, higher carb higher protein 
and lower fat is my diet actually right now. Time to carbo load. I also have my book Metabolic Atavaji that talks about this entire structure about one meal a day and targeted intermittent fasting, my entire theory and practice about it, my like similar meal plan that I follow myself with carb cycling and you know when you eat carbs when you eat protein when do you uh, structure the fasting window that you can learn from my metabolic catology uh, meal plan that is four weeks it includes uh, a meal plan with all the calories all the foods listed out as well as the workout uh, structure for progressive overload in resistance training for developing uh, muscle mass strength and uh, also combining it with the anti-aging benefits of time restricted eating calorie restriction and uh, Iterate fasting. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.